I'm Jingle Bells. Who are you? I'm a holy knight. And I'm here because it's Christmas. And God told me to sing the Christmas message to all these people. Now hold on. What makes you think you're all this Christmas message? I beg your pardon? I'm important too, you know. So you want to make Christmas all a bore, we'll solve candlelights and serious religious stuff. Well, listen here, honey. Christmas is a time of laughter and happiness, too. Christmas is a time for holidays, school, vacation, and for fun. Well, I suppose. Move well, over and I'll join you. But God told me to sing the Christmas <laughs> Of course he did. But they'll listen more readily if they hear me, too. But it... Look, God's not against laughter and happiness, is he? Of course not. Well, then let's sing for these people. Well, I guess it will be okay. Of course it will. You start. Oh, jingle holy bells, holy jingle holy bells, holy jingle holy bells, holy all the way around the holly, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Holy. La 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 la. What? Who are you? And what do you think you can come in here and interrupt our song like that? I am Deck the Halls with the Bells of Holly. Who are you? I'm Jingle Bells. Oh, how do you do, Jingle Bells? Pleased to meet you. This is a little holy night. Charmed, I'm sure. Now, right. yeah, if you wouldn't mind moving on, we've got work to do. We're proclaiming the Christmas message. Without me? Look, it's nothing personal, Deck. But you see, God told me to proclaim the Christmas message. <laughs> and I'm helping that Christmas is the time of laughter and happiness, too. In wonderful old tradition, you know, like decking the halls with bells of holly. Putting up a Christmas tree, kissing under the mistletoe. Those are all lovely traditions and customs. And <clears throat> burning the old log, giving gifts, and kissing under the mistletoe. Oh, I love those too. And sitting on Santa's knee, singing Christmas carols, and kissing under the mistletoe. Are you finished? No. And hanging stockings by the chimney. Reading the night before Christmas and rolling eggs in the White House lawn? Eggs? That's Easter. Oh, what's the difference? The important thing is that we not forget any of these wonderful old traditions and customs. Like kissing under the mistletoe? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> We're all wonderful, but we really need to get back to work. Right, you start. I suppose you think you're going to join us? Of course. Ryan! Look. You may not realize it, but you're sunk without me. How long do you think your popularity would last if I weren't around? Well, don't think you're all that indispensable. Christmas has gotten along without you just fine before, and it can get along without you now, too. Oh, really? Let's say you told people they'd have to go without lights on the tree, or a turkey on the table, the way they've always had Christmas before. Do you really think they would stay here to listen to, to you sing about a baby in a manger? Well... Take away the Christmas presents. How long do you think they would listen to you sing? Take away kissing under the mistletoe. You better not say. Face it, sister. Oh, all right. Oh, holy night. Peter Cottontail, it's Easter. What's the difference? 
need all of these old favorites to keep the kids' eyes shining bright on Christmas Eve. But it's getting so crowded up here already. Look, you wouldn't want to go on record of being against children, would you? Of course not. I love children. She's got a good point, Holly. We better let her stay just to avoid trouble. But all I want to do is proclaim the Christmas message like God told me to. And I don't really think adding all this excess baggage is all that helpful. Excess baggage? Well, I never. See what you've done. You've made yeah. mad. Besides, we wouldn't want her over there belting out her song. It would mess up our beautiful harmony. Oh, no, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> you know, like it or not, there are times when you have to compromise to avoid conflicts. You can't always have everything the way you want it. Look, Christmas is big enough for us all. There's room enough for everyone's song. Oh, all right. Come on in, Rudolph. Oh, thank you, thank you. You won't regret it. Later on, I may add a song I made up about Buddy Yelp. Wonderful old traditions and customs. Tradition. 
traditions will feed a warming, lovely old customs will heal my wounds. I am very kind. I tremble at the darkness I see. I cry in the night for the deeper night that comes. A deeper night bringing nightmares of a world, of a planet where terrorism is ever present. Nightmares of a world where a famine where the government eats food and towards people. Nightmares of a world where man denies the God of the universe and reaps the consequences. Nightmares of a world where people are numbered to be added and subtracted, cattle to be herded and marketed. Help me, sing me a song that brings even the faintest of dawn into the night of my future. Let me sing you a song of the joy of childhood. Can your song assure me that our children will not have to grow yeah. up in a world full of nightmares? I am mankind. I live in fear of death. I travel through life as a pilgrim, yet trying to believe that I will live here forever. I nervously fill my journey with distractions, with fragile toys, with entertainments, with monuments to my immortality. Nervously hoping to believe that my journey will end, but then the journey of a friend ends, and I am distracted from my distractions. I see that my journey must end too must end like the evaporating morning mist, must end like the clouds fleeing shadows, must end like the withering autumn leaves, must end in the grave. Help me, sing me a song that says death is alive. Let me sing you my song for today, my up-to-date song for now. Can your song of now add anything new to the timeless, ageless puzzle of death? I live in loneliness. The child of my song came to bring love to those who had given up. Jesus said, I will not leave you comfort comfortless. I am with you always, even to the end of the world. I am hungry and cold. The child of my song came to lift up the downtrodden. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I fear the future. The child of my son came to lift us out of fear and uncertainty. Jesus said, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. And fear not, for I have overcome the world. I face death. The child of my son came to rob the grave of its victory. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Help us. Sing us a song that will help us. Please, for the sake of the God you claim loves us. Sing to us of Christmas. But please, sing us a true song. 